Well then, let's take a look, if we can, at triangles formed by limiting parallel rays. Uh, let's consider the picture that should now be painfully familiar. So you've got a segment PA, you've got a ray AB, you've got a ray PD. Now, let, let's draw this out to its logical conclusion. These, these two rays get asymptotically close to each other. Because remember, ray PD is parallel to ray AB, but it's the first ray that's parallel to ray AB. So it really does almost touch ray AB. And so this shape, some geometers have said, this is basically a triangle. In fact, DPAB is called an asymptotic triangle. Um, it's a terrible name. Uh, but then again, biangle is a terrible name. Uh, trilateral is a terrible name. Uh, and I've seen some textbooks that, that call this triangle, D, asymptotic triangle DPAB, where it's almost a triangle symbol, but oh, so close, it doesn't quite get there. Uh, so this is called an asymptotic triangle because it's formed by two limiting parallel rays and the segment between their endpoints. Uh, there are a couple of things that you should know about this. Um, you should know that if you have an asymptotic triangle, DPAB, and you find a point C on the other side of B, uh, on the other side of PA as B, uh, you should know that the measure of angle CAP is greater than the measure of angle APD. Uh, this is the exterior angle theorem for asymptotic triangles. We can prove it. Your author does. It's not terribly difficult or, for that matter, terribly exciting. Um, it is also true that if you have asymptotic triangles DPAB and, I don't know, let's Boy, a four-letter word, F-O-U-R. That's a four-letter word. If the segments are congruent and this angle is congruent, then you have side angle congruence, which is just really weird to think about. Uh, why? Uh, because sides determine lengths of angles, so those are pretty much congruent anyway. That's the sense from the geometry. Um, it is also true that, let's back up, it is also true that if this angle is congruent to that one and this angle is congruent to that one, then you have angle-angle congruence for asymptotic triangles. Uh, neither of those theorems is very interesting. Neither of them is very important, but you should be aware of them. Very well. Next up, a talk about the different kinds of parallel lines, but that's for later.